Hey guys, I am proud to introduce today the newly developed discrete messenger bag from ITS Tactical. So today I wanted to walk you through my bag that I have been carrying for the last eight months in hopes that it'll really give you a good idea of the way that I carry and the way that we have integrated the different features we have in the bag. So first off, you'll notice that this is genuine Martex and wax canvas and over time it does fade. So you'll see over here we have the surplus green color scheme and over here we have the midnight black color scheme and already after eight months of wear there's some significant wear on the bag and just in terms of the the color so i've had it in pretty much every environmental condition martex and wax canvas is naturally water resistant as well but you can reapply wax to the bag to bring back the color as well as bring back the waterproofness of the bag so first off you'll notice that we use genuine Oster Alpin Cobra buckles. Um, these are the metal buckles. These aren't um, the, the plastic ones they're using, but these were done to not only enhance the bag, but to provide just a generally uh, solid lockup for the flap of the bag too. And these are adjustable, as you'll see around to the bottom side of the bag. Um, we have elastic keepers to retain the, the balance of the webbing as you adjust those. And this is all two inch webbing that uh, keeps the front flap together. So as you get into the bag, you'll notice the front flap here uh, is Velcro, so you can undo that and apply patches, but this flap conveniently tucks inside of a hidden pocket that's in the front of the bag. So by just pushing this down into the pocket, you can hide the flap so it gets it out of the way. And that mates with a small loop in the front here so it seals the pocket up and you can go right back to carrying it the way you wanted to uh, with the loop configuration for ID panels or ID patches and things like that. So also there is a pass-through zipper here to access the interior of the bag so as you're wearing it you can access this either right-handed or left-handed I've left both pieces of paracord on here for demonstration, but if you were always going to open it from your right as you carry, you might want to remove one of these as well. So again, that's the pass-through to access the interior of the bag, which is great because the interior of the bag is all loop-lined. So if you decide to you run our holster insert, which I'll get into in a second, you can, for off-body carry, you can get into the bag easily and get to a gun if you had to. So when you open the top flap, you'll notice that this is all coated with uh, pack cloth and it's a alternating color from the interior color so as you notice on the midnight black bag it's got a gray in the inside so it's a contrasting color which makes finding things a lot easier within the bag uh, but then once you get into the interior of the bag you'll notice the these front four pockets just like on here so what we've designed this to do is interface with the zip bags that we've come out with quite a while ago. If you'll remember from, if you've looked at our other product line, we came out with some nylon zip bags. Um, and this one is designed to fit our Bubu Kit Plus as well as some other medical accessories. So these interface very easily with the bag. So the, the premise here is that we wanted to be able to carry four different zip bags to make the bag truly modular. So rather than give you a bag with a bunch of pockets like we did on previous generations of the messenger bag, um, what we wanted to do is make it truly modular again. So using zip bags, you're able to put four of them if you want to. You can see that I carry three myself, um, as well as I keep a fourth pocket empty for a Nalgene. So I carry a Nalgene in the fourth pocket. But what's great again about the pockets is that they fold flat. So with these little buttons here on each flap, they tuck out of the way and fold flat. So just like you'll see with the brand new bag here that doesn't have anything in it, there's four pockets. So two, one on each side, and two in the center. And they, they have that same configuration, so they just pop right out like that, and then snap closed again if you don't need them. So in these pockets, I have zip bags. So this is what I carry. And it's great too because you can actually just pop the buttons open with the bag as you're taking it out. So if you need to, to pull it out, you just pop the buttons and pull it right out. So again, these are the three bags I have. And generally what I like to carry is the Bubu Kit Plus in the red medical bag. So that's a glorified first aid kit that we have. 
And then these two bags I have for electronics. So in this one, it's a lot of different cables, uh, chargers for iPhone, for my laptop. Um, this one as well, just various cables and um, hearing protection and things like that. So every, it really just depends on my loadout, and that's what's great about the modularity of this. Uh, you can have different zip bags configured for whatever you need and just dock them in and out of the bag. So again, truly modular in that sense. And then when you get into the main interior pocket of the bag, I mentioned before, the whole thing is loop lined. So you've got loop across the whole back panel, you've got loop across the whole front panel as well as on the sides. So that's so you can put just about any accessory on the market that uses Velcro inside of this bag. So truly modular in that aspect. So you'll see what I have in my bag in the back here is our tech sleeve. So that is a laptop sleeve but it just has some extra pockets in the front for different accoutrements. And it's adjustable as well. So the side flaps here basically folds out like so, and you can adjust this for different size laptops. It fits up to a 15 inch laptop. And then the top here is just a fold over, but this comes off as well if you need to adjust this for larger laptops and more space inside of the tech sleeve. So these elastic pockets across the front, you'll see I've utilized them for different stuff here. I've got a, one of our EDC medical kits in that. I've got a Amazon battery charger, TI bolt pen, Palomino black wing pencil, always carry a pencil, and a little Kubaton here, as well as a spork and a flashlight and my laptop here in the back. So this is a 13 inch MacBook and you can see I've got plenty of room in the back and it can definitely fit up to a 15 so there's some room to spare there. And then I've got a pair of shears that I've kind of mated to a retractor just on here and I kind of tuck them behind just to keep them out of the way and that's how I run that. Then I've got, I usually have a uh, some kind of binder in here. This is just a leather binder I have with folders that I take back and forth to work and a home. Laptop out of the way there. And so I always carry a one of our holster inserts in the front just in case I have an off-body carry situation I need to utilize. I don't typically carry off-body in a bag but when I do um, that's that's why I have this. And the good thing about the holster insert is that as you run it, sorry you can't see this, so as you run it, you can actually fold it pretty flat to, to store it out of the way and it doesn't real hardly take up any space to just kind of have it in the bag all the time. So even inside of the pockets here, we've used that same uh, off-color pack cloth so you can see what's in the pockets at any time. As well as within these two front pockets, we've got elastic here so you can add things like pens and things like that into the front. Uh, when you're carrying the bag. So as far as features go, the shoulder strap, we've kind of upgraded that as well from our other bags that we've made in the past. Sometimes what would happen is as you're carrying them, you would have gaps in the sides of the, the top flap and we've eliminated that by having shoulder strap and material that actually comes all halfway up the, or sorry, not halfway up, but a little ways up the shoulder strap to, to help with that as well as the shoulder strap is clean and free of any adjustment. And the reason we did that is because some people have uh, talked about problems with the, the adjustment buckles and things like that actually getting trapped up in the shoulder and things like that. So what we've done is we've eliminated that and put the adjustment within the sides and in the side pockets of each side. So it's uh, independently adjustable from each side through a couple of tri-glides, just like so. And then the back here has a carry strap. And instead of the carry strap being on the lid, which you know causes the lid on the previous versions to pull up like that, we've now moved the shoulder strap or the pull strap back to the back. And you can see that that webbing now comes all the way around. And that's what facilitates the adjustment of the top flap cobra buckles. So that's just a little bit of the walkthrough on the bag. Um, the last feature that I really wanted to mention on this is this here. So on the back, 
we've got a waist strap that's completely removable. So with repair buckles, just like so, you can grab this and remove the repair buckle, which is just a little split bar buckle. And you can re completely remove the waist strap if you wanted to. That's kind of how I run it, but I do carry my waist strap uh, rolled up inside one of the pockets of my bag. So just a quick walkthrough of the new discrete messenger bag from ITS. Thanks for watching.